Former National Security Agency contractor Edward Snowden and his allies are calling on new S. President Barack Obama to pardon him. Snowden presented his case via video link from Moscow, where he now lives. Rough cut. No report and narration. In comments published this week, the former National Security Agency contractor turned whistleblower called on Obama for a pardon. While the president still holds office, Snowden stated the data he leaked in 2013 detailed mass surveillance efforts in the U.S. were morally necessary. The data included thousands of classified documents revealing the extent of U.S. surveillance measures put in place after the September 11, 2001, attacks, hours after Snowden's latest plea went public. A campaign supporting the exiled American was launched. The campaign is spearheaded by human and civil rights organizations, which include the American Civil Liberties Union, ACLU, Human Rights Watch and Amnesty International. The rights groups launched the campaign on the heels of Oliver Stone's biopic thriller, Snowden, at a screening at the Toronto Film Festival last week. Anti-establishment director Stone said, We hope that Mr. Obama has a stroke of lightning and he sees the way. During the campaign's press conference, Snowden himself appeared, albeit via a video link from Russia, where he has been granted asylum. In the clip, Snowden said, My concern here is not just myself. If I, and other whistleblowers, are sentenced to long years in prison, without so much as a chance to explain our motivations to a jury. It will have a deeply chilling effect on future whistleblowers working, as I did, to expose government abuse and overreach. He added, the question as to whether I, as a whistleblower, should be pardoned is not for me to answer. I will say this, I love my country, I love my family and I have dedicated my life to both of them but I cannot support the persecution of those charged under an espionage act when they have committed no espionage. The campaign allows individuals to sign a letter and pledge their support for Snowden. Since going live the campaign has attracted the names of some major players. Apple co-founder Steve Wozniak and Wikipedia founder Jimmy Wales have pledged their support. Alongside Bernie Sanders and actors including Daniel Radcliffe, Maggie Jill and Hall and Susan Sarandon. I think Obama should it pardon Snowden. So does it a clue. At Amnesty Online. At HRW. Don't you. HTTPS. T. Co. A6XHCAL2J. Time will tell whether this latest campaign will serve as a lifeline for the whistleblower, whose Russian residency runs out next year. In July. The White House rejected an earlier petition to pardon Snowden that had garnered more than 160 OO signatures. The White House has said, despite the latest campaign, it had no intention of issuing a pardon. White House Press Secretary Josh Ernest disputed that Snowden was a whistleblower and said he would enjoy legal due process at a trial in the United States where he faces up to 30 years in prison for espionage and theft of state secrets. His conduct put American lives at risk and it risked American national security. And that's why the policy of the Obama administration is that Mr. Snowden should return to the United States and face the very serious charges that he's facing. Quote, Ernest told reporters, Anthony Romero, executive director of the ACLU, said despite the White House's not very positive reaction initially, we think it will change with the public's response to the campaign. The full list of Snowden supporters can be seen on the website pardonsnowden.org. News. Com. Our privacy policy includes important information about our collection, use and disclosure of your personal information including to provide you with targeted content and advertising based on your online activities. It explains that if you do not provide us with information we have requested from you, 
We may not be able to provide you with the goods and services you require. It also explains how you can access or seek correction of your personal information, how you can complain about a breach of the Australian privacy principles and how we will deal with a complaint of that nature.